A while ago, the Slovenian foreign prime minister, foreign minister visited Luxembourg and he came to our parliament. The speaker of my parliament introduced me the following. This is our green plant, Juna Bernach. Yeah, what a statement as an official introduction as vice president of parliament. So you see, sexism, discrimination is still happening and it's happening even at the highest places of power in politics in my parliament and it's just one situation of quite a few that I've been experiencing in the past three years that I've been in politics. So I'm not telling you this to self-pity myself or to victimize myself. I'm telling you this because this phrase, our green plant, has become a symbol for myself, for this fight and this struggle and this constant challenge of pointing out discrimination, sexism, outdated power structures that are still being out there and that I witness myself as a young person. It has been sad. I'm 29 and I have been experiencing politics for the last three, year, three years in, in the National Parliament of Luxembourg. And I realize, looking at public administrations where we work closely with, looking at my colleagues where age average in Parliament is around 54, and with a third of our parliamentarians being women, there's still so much work to do. So I have been wondering on how I can address this and how I can be contribute to the cause of having a more diversified, better gender balanced, younger parliament. And first of all, I, I realized that I have to explain to the people why it is important that they run for office, that they dare to get out there, to, to, to stand up for elections or to uh, apply for a position at, um, at an administration and to really be ambitious about themselves as women, as young people, as future change makers. And there are three very good reasons and I'm sure there are many more, but I want to focus on the three. First of all, well, as a parliament, you represent a whole society. And I just told you the numbers of our parliament, it is not representing whole society. And we're far, far away from that. We're talking about gender, which is not represented as it should be, about age, not about social backgrounds, about ethnic backgrounds, religious backgrounds, and so on. So as a parliament, it should be our mission and our task and our ambition to represent full society and also repre be represented as such as parliamentarians. So this is quite an obvious reason and I think we have to work more on that. Second reason, we need young people, fresh minds, rebels, the unusual suspects in our parliaments, in our public administration, to question the status quo. And it has been quite a red line in the past interventions that we need renewal in our administrations, in politics, we need new views on things, we need to have people who dare to speak out and question and maybe start a small revolution in order to have an evolution. Let me name three things that have me and my younger colleagues across different parties uh, been pushing for in Luxembourg. First of all, a citizen's assembly, like a citizen's parliament. <gasps> that was quite a tough uh, thing and we still don't have it, so the fight goes on, but my older colleagues are just doubting the use of it and uh, what would civil society do and maybe they take away power from us. How absurd. Another thing that we've been fighting for 
is reduced work hours. And I know it's also a discussion in Germany. It was one during the last elections, and it, it's also something happening in Luxembourg where we have to question, is 40 hours work week still a viable thing to do? And let's have a discussion about it, but I think it needs a younger generation to speak out for these things and, and question how things are working at the moment. Third, we need a more female parliament, more female public administrations, and the women who are already inside, who made the first match, they are the ones who have to pave the way for the others. At the moment, we have uh, 20 colleagues in a parliament of 60 who are women, and I dared to speak up for a kindergarten in our parliament. People were laughing during the plenary session when I was saying that if we want to have more women in politics, we also need to create a more family-friendly environment in a parliament. I know it exists in almost all the countries around the world. Luxembourg still doesn't have it. And people are laughing. You see, this is an environment where there's still a strong fight to be done. And it, it will be done by the women because the men, they don't care about it. At the moment, our 55 plus parliamentarians who are becoming grandfathers soon, obviously they are not as much concerned by the concept of kindergartens than I am as a young woman of 29. So these things have to happen. And how do they happen? What can we, what can we do? And I'm also standing in front of you as the leader of a political party. Well. Obviously, political parties have to take on this challenge and take on their responsibility. And obviously, there's a power play taking place. It's not always easy to make space for someone new, someone younger, someone more female, someone questioning the status quo. But this has to take place. And I'm very happy and I feel that I am a bit the result of a new way that my party has been acting at uh, being elected at 26. I think it's, it sends out a strong symbol for other women, for other young people to step up, to dare to run, but also we need to have a structural change for that. We have co-presidencies in my party from the beginning on. We have separated speaker lists where women and men have separated lists to speak so that as a young woman you know already from the start, okay, if I want to say something, I actually get my spot in saying something and I don't have to already fight to, to get heard and, and, and be able to raise my voice. So these structural things are the things that organizations, public administrations, parties can already put in place in order to facilitate that. It's the small things, but it's also a behavioral change and a systemic change that is already taking place, but needs to accelerate much, much more. It's something that I try to push for in my party, to have younger people running, to give them the floor, to empower them in speaking up and, and, and guiding them through this sometimes not so easy jungle of politics and administrations. And I really hope that this can help as an environment for other parties, other administration in doing the same. I am fully convinced that our generation, and I was a bit looking through the room, I think there are many of plus minus my age, we are the future and we, if we want to be part of this change-making generation, we have to step up into these positions and we have to dare and we have to fight our space and pave the way for the future generations to come in order to question the status quo, in order to be more representative as a society and in order to be diverse, more female, younger and courageous. Thank you very much. Thank you.